We're back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. As I mentioned, we were going to continue this August Wilson theme, and we do that through the vehicle of the Pittsburgh Playwrights Theater, which is celebrating August Wilson's birthday, doing it outdoors with King Headley II. And here to talk about it are two very familiar faces, Salo Dean and Etta Cox. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having us. I don't even know where to start. It's so exciting. The birthday, outdoors, and King Headley. So you pick any of those you want to respond to. Well, for me, the uh, most exciting part is seeing Pittsburgh come together to celebrate their um, hometown hero, mm. uh, August Wilson. And I hope that we continue this trend mm -hmm. because when we institutionalize the celebration of his birthday, it spreads out mm. to the schools, to the churches, mm -hmm. to the organizations, and it becomes more permanent. So that's the most important part for me. Absolutely. So, Etta, talk to me about King Hedley II. It's an intense mm. play. <laughs> yeah, that's playing, a word. <laughs> I'm playing the part of Ruby, mm -hmm. and uh, she is a, an ex-singer, so I kind of fell into that role, and it's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's, different than anything I've ever done. I've never, I only did one of August Wilson's plays before uh, at the Pittsburgh Public some years ago. I did Ma Rainey. Okay. And so this is my. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Long time ago. But. Uh, I was going to say, but Ruby is, uh, I don't want to, uh, there is so much depth yeah. in the emotions of Ruby. Yes. And she goes through so much mm -hmm. from all of the men in her life. And she takes so much. Absolutely. But I think deep down she's a really good person. But she just made mistakes. Yeah. Like we all do. Mm. <laughs> so, Sala, how is it? You, what did Mark Southers do to convince you to get back on stage in, of all plays, <laughs> King Hedley? That's what my wife would like to know. <laughs> <also>. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. uh, King Hedley is a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, August Wilson's work is a challenge. Mm -hmm. And although I thought I was retired from work and theater, um, when you really get the opportunity to do an August Wilson piece mm -hmm. um, put together by Mark Southers, um, it's hard to pass up it's that hard opportunity. To say no. It's Absolutely. hard to say no. Then you add in for this particular production, it's going to be performed outdoors behind August Wilson's home, which I got to tell you, last year was an awesome experience. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, performing outdoors, it's a, it's a challenge, uh, first of all, as to how you can create a theater in an outdoor setting right. that is believable. And um, the... Pittsburgh Playwrights Organization is an amazing organization under the leadership of Mark Southers. And if anybody's going to do it, nobody does it better. Nobody does it better Pittsburgh than Pittsburgh Playwrights. Absolutely. Yes. Etta, let me ask you this. I mentioned to the guest that was on just before that one of the things I used to always ask August Wilson was, what's the after-dinner conversation after I see this play? What are we talking about? What are we focusing on? What's my after? What's my after production conversation? You know, I think you'll be talking about it's really a tragedy, mm. you know, and it's very deep, and the characters, in some ways, I think are pretty well defined. But you're, there's always those questions as to why someone did something, or why was Ruby treated the way she was, or why did King have the feelings toward his mother that he had. So you'll there, there are going to be unanswered questions. Mm -hmm. But I think that will be what you'll be thinking about once you've seen the play. Do you agree? I agree. Um, I think that op oftentimes people call King Hedley a dark play. Mm -hmm. um, and I think what they're talking about is that the unanswered questions, mm -hmm. um, the kind of almost Shakespearean tragedy and betrayal mm -hmm. that occurs that we are not normally accustomed to um, in plays on stage, you 
you usually like to see, you know, characters that get built up and yeah, you have the August expect, didn't do it know. that way. <laughs> I don't want to cut you off, but we're just about out of time. So the play start, it kicks off the 27th. It runs through June 3rd. And the best thing for folks to do is go to the Pittsburgh Playwrights uh, website and get yes. that ticket information. Yes. And uh, I'm telling you, last time I was outdoors, you couldn't get tickets. <laughs> this Saturday is Salahuddin night. And if you get tickets, you say, you know, you want to get Saladin, and Sunday is at the Cox night. So, oh, wait, so if I use Salah's name, down. do I get a discount? Yes. yes. <laughs> I work on Sunday, so all right. Yes, you do get a discount Perfect. on those two days. All right. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for, having, for having us. We'll take a commercial break. When we come back, we got one more thing to talk about, and that is the Pittsburgh Black Media Federation's upcoming workshop. Don't go away.